Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create some custom bullets. You may be familiar with creating bullets uh, using the Home tab and going under the Paragraph group and selecting bullets, but you can actually create uh, custom bullets, and these are not bullets that you would find in PowerPoint, uh, at least this particular section here. You can, you can actually save images and then use them as bullets. And you can actually also have some kind of fun bullets. Uh, these are not the normal bullets that you would see here. You can see that. But these are actually icons that you can get from the different font styles. So let's say, for example, we go into slide two here and we've got our list of items here. And I go ahead and select the items. We have an extra paragraph here. Let me go ahead and delete that. But we, we can select our items here and we can go into the Home tab go under here. You notice that you know if we hover over a couple of different of the bullets, you can see that we have these selected for us. But we can also go under bullets and numbering. So if we click picture here, the click picture button, we can go ahead and search for an image. Let me go ahead and search for the for an image here. Now with the window open, let me go ahead and search for an image here. And this is an image that I have saved. This is a PNG file. I can go and just click that and click insert. And it's going to insert that image and reduce it to a file size that's appropriate for the bullet. So if I add another bullet here, item item 6, you notice that now the bullet's there and I press enter. So we have another bullet here. So in addition to using images that you save on your local drive for your bullets, you can also enter some other type of bullets, um, not specific to the bullets here. These seven bullets that are kind of like some default bullets, you can actually go ahead, let me go ahead and click out here, let me go right click, you can actually use the uh, mini toolbar here and go ahead and select your bullets from here. It's going to give you the same menu as you have in the paragraph group. And I go under bullets and numbering, and if I go ahead and click the customize instead, it will open up a, another window that lets you select different types of characters. So for example, if I can go to probably a good good solution here would be to go to something that has Unicode and that usually has a lot of different other type of characters that you can put in and kind of substitute as a bullet. So you can see here there's a lot of different things. When I scroll down here you can see that the subset uh, kind of kind of goes along. You, there's different categories or subsets of the different types of characters that are available here. So if I kind of go down here you can see that there are a slew of different type of characters that you can use as a bullet. And uh, some of them are probably not appropriate, but if I kind of go down here, let's say for example, I want to use uh, something that's a little bit more graphical. Let me go ahead and kind of scroll down here a little bit and see what I can find. Earlier I had this little pencil icon, but there's other icons that I can look for. There's icons that I can look for or characters I can look for that will give some kind of, uh, I guess, color or uh, it'll give a personality to the bullets and I can probably choose one here maybe letter like symbols or uh, maybe number forms or something that's a little bit more interesting if I'm presenting kind of a presentation that's kind of geared towards science or math maybe I can do some some of these mathematical operator type of bullets or, or if I'm looking for something that's a little bit more whimsical uh, and it's a technical audience maybe something like this uh, maybe this alpha or something like that. So there are a lot of things that you can choose from as I scroll down here. Maybe like a little snowman if you're doing something that's kind of weather related or, or, or seasonal. Maybe if I enter that, you can see now I've got these little snowmen here and that kind of gives a little bit more fun. Uh, also, if you're doing some presentation for a holiday or a festive event, uh, finding some certain icons to act as, as your bullets might be a little bit more fun uh, rather than going the, the kind of plain, a little bit more serious route of these uh, circles or these squares. So we've got our little snowman here. So that's the way that you can either use an image for your bullets or characters that are part of your uh, fonts for your bullets. And you can add some variety to your bullets. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.